Oh, I got the coal motor bearings way done. The back bearing. Oh, so was it one arsehole, was I say? Yeah. It's always that one arsehole, as they all say. The front bearing is very good. The original English made bearing has brass um, ball retainer inside it. It's just interesting they use brass to hold the ball bearings in place in the bearings back then. They've been very well packed to grease, both the front and the back, with good HTB grease. American made Timken raw bearing grease, good stuff. I used this for motor bearings in the past. This top of grease is good. Especially if you're going to. VFD your motors a lot at high RPM. You do need some HTB grease for that sort of thing. Did this one. Down there was alright. But I just put new arm. Um, I gave it a steam clean after putting the parts off that were now on this one. New uh, terminal cover and everything on it. So that's another good motor. I re grease these bearings. I um, said the steam cleaner method. I uh, steam clean the bearings, got a really hot blow all the grease out, and then blew them dry with compressed air until they were completely dry. And they were pretty good after that. There's um one set in this was good. The front one on this one and the back one on this one. Back another front one on this one was good. But yeah, the back bearing and that one here is noisy as well. So this is the, this has got a need near bearing in the back. Bugger. So always that one noisy bearing is can't fix. Almost always a back one in my case. It's always a back bearing and a noisy. So I'll uh, put that back in storage when I get a chance. Give it a really good clean with some compressed air. It's a shame there's no electric motor in this year's Australia anymore. It all relies on China. Speaking of which, this is a Chinese made CMG I scored. Picked this out of the scrap metal bin yesterday. It's a burnt out Lauer pump from 2002. So a very slight burning in it. Didn't burn out much just in there. Slightly charred and then just went short and arced a little bit. Looks like it arced and flashed a bit and that's it. Shorted. Tripped out the RCD. And on that side too. Anyway, I got this out of the scrap bin because I wanted to get the capacitor off it. The capacitor's good, got a good 24 microfarad star capacitor. And a good little terminal block so the rest can get back in the bin. I've got what I wanted off that. I'll get the strip, uh, strip this out for parts, get the bearings out and the seals out, keep for spares and the rest are going to bin. That's the same fact that one here's got short to earth, gone. This one I did test quickly on a little uh, setup I made and um, plugged it into an RCD and everything. Yeah, it ran, ran quite well. It's got low, medium and high settings on it. Well done high but it starts getting a bit warm around here. so. Could be a slight short. I'm gonna have to get, I'll test it with a mega and see what happens. CMG, fan coil motor. CMG Australia, I should say China now. Chinese made garbage now. It used to be a good industry, good motors. These motors back in the day would have made them in Australia. But yeah, as I said, I picked it out, looked at it, not burnt out, so I gave it a clean. Even if it is stuffed, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but these ball bearings might fit one of my other um, CMG motors. So let's see, it's been chopped in the scrap bin. And a little good capacity there. Let's, uh, ask, uh, let's do a um, mega test on this thing. But before I do that, I want to dismount the capacitor. Minimise the risk of A, damaging it, and B, um, giving it a good zap. Even though the windings will hold charge anyway if they're good. What you got there, Mr. Big Cat? You found something, Whiskers? Oh, good kitty. Good cat. Good cat. Yeah, my uh, suspicions are actually correct. I've got between neutral or active for any of the speed wires to the body of the motor and I get a spark. So yeah, she's gone. Hey. Oh, there's a, it's a gecko. Whiskers over here. He's over here, Whiskers. <laughs> gecko, I hid Whiskers. Chasing a little gecko. Put her here. The camera won't pick it up. I'm getting the tiny spark off the body in a motor between any one of these winding wires, except the earth, obviously. Yep, gone. It's just gone on the ground. Oh well, part of that, scrap it. That's also gone on the ground. I just tested that too. That's gone on the ground as well, so. 
cloth, the stainless steel bolts that are on it. So they're all going to come off and just part it all out and chuck it straight back in the scrap bin. On your cap. Could almost modify this. Put a normal shaft, machine a pulley onto it, and make an ordinary pump out of it. And put a nozzle on the end to score another hose on tennis to work as an ordinary pump. Hmm. I think that bearing's too small. I think. Um. Will I fit the back? Maybe. Maybe. And my suspicions are correct. This thing's gone on the ground. Look at all that bubbling in there. The plastic's all melted. Right in there, it's shorter together to earth. In several places too. That's all. This matter has gotten hot. So people wash things down the drain. And the filter, or if the filter in this pump wasn't um, working, this thing would have sucked up all the bits of dirt and usually during machinery breakdowns, so the odd ball bearing and stuff or bolt gets washed down the drain sometimes. That's probably what jammed this motor up, so something like that would have got caught in the impeller of this pump and locked the motor up from starting. So yeah, been sitting there cooking, it couldn't start, just sat there stalled, boiling itself in the oil. So it looks like this thing's been deep fried underwater. That's where I can put it down to. It's been deep fried underwater. Mm -mm. Yummy. He wants deep fried copper and plastic. Mm -mm. There we are. It would have been a pretty slow burn out too. It's not a syllable bearing either. NSK Poland. And according to the local bearing shop, they reckon the Polish made bearings are not very good compared to the other um, makes of bearings. That was just their opinion anyway, apparently, yeah. They go through a lot of Polish made bearings that they, they just don't seem to last. It's an Easter lot. I'll have to pull this shaft out. Pull the front end off, pull the impeller off, and get this shaft out. You see what size that bearing is. Mm, I think it might be too small, but I don't know for sure. There's gear oil in there. This thing's bathed in gear oil. Sure makes a mess. I thought these matters were just sealed from water getting in. I didn't know they were filled with oil. There you are, they're filled with oil. Oh. Them ones there can go straight in the scrap bin when they get to work. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.